Gary Satterfield has officially signed with Elizabeth City State University in our ceremony here at Onchai Gymnasium. Gary, it was interesting because probably when you were about eight or nine years old, you envisioned a day like this, but you envisioned it playing soccer. Well, yeah, a little different sport. Yeah, a little yeah. different sport. Um, you know, play, started playing soccer when I was four. Mm -hmm. Played for, I guess, Mevin Youth Soccer Association. Played for Triangle. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's when I met Dave. Uh -huh. this next year coming up. Yep, yep I am. Um, and so it's it's been a crazy ride. Um, I of course I always imagined myself playing soccer until I guess junior year coming to senior year I, I was I kind of flipped brains and football yeah. was when I was locked in on so it was injuries that forced yeah. that. You, yeah. Coach Bowman, the men's soccer coach, yeah. was here today. So when you realized you couldn't play soccer. Was there a certain amount of hopelessness that sank in? Or? Oh, of course. Of course, when you do something you love that much and something like that, like an injury pops up, it hurts. But, you know, I help with the guidance of my parents and friends and family. Um, I got through it, and mm -hmm. here we are today. So. so you transitioned to being a punter, mm -hmm. and we talked about this once before, yeah. actually, back in the fall, but you couldn't have done it without Bill Renner. Right. How much of an right. influence was he? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Coach Renner, I, I don't know how much I can say about him, man. Um, we started working the April of the COVID year, was it 2020? Mm -hmm. We started getting work in April. Um, and he knows, my parents know how bad of a kicker I was. I That first practice that we had, I probably only hit six field goals out of probably the 40 that we kicked that day. But he's trained me to the point where I'm hitting 39 out of 40 now. So. Wow, really? It's, it's been a ride. It's been I I don't know what I I, I don't know where I would be without him. Um, mm -hmm. He has single-handedly changed my life and my family's life. So it's it's definitely been a. This is a broad question, but how demanding was he? It wasn't really demanding. It was just him making sure I noticed what I did when I messed up and when I did it right, so I can be consistent. His whole philosophy is just consistency, which is every kicker's philosophy. But mm -hmm. he really drilled in on the on the consistency part of kicking. So it was more meticulous than right, demanding. Right, right. Right. So you, you made it now to football and you're going, how important was it for you to go to an HBCU? Oh, uh, of course, it's always important. My, both my parents graduated from HBCU at North Carolina Central. Um, so growing up, always going to their football games every Saturdays wow. in the fall, um, it was always important. Um, mm -hmm. bring, giving back to the communities that, that gave me a lot and gave my parents a lot was it's, it's always one of the most important things ever. Probably instilled a hatred of A&T, too. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, because I used to talk to some central coaches. Right. And yeah, that is what it is. It's drilled in. It's so drilled where in. it's going to be a goal, um, it's interesting because you're going to be competing against a friend here yeah. for the starting <laughs> job at Elizabeth City yeah. State. So that will yeah. be another right. peculiar transition, right? Right. right? right. But, it, I mean, competition only makes us better. Mm -hmm. um, diamonds grow on the rough, so we're just, we're just going to make each other better. That's, yeah. that's, the, end, that's the end goal. Yeah. Darius, I think you could do a career as a broadcaster, too, because you've got a smooth voice thank and great you. delivery, too. So, Best of luck to you. I really admire the transition you made and also the money that you raised for cancer yeah. last season. So you've done a great job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.